Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Sagar and today we will be taking a look at Gialis. Gialis is a strong offensive tem which is the only melee tem tem which is not weak to mentals and can threaten them back with crystal moves and is currently also a good counter to Wolfie who is very common in the meta. Going on to its traits quickly. Mirroring is the preferred trait for Gialis in the current meta. Mirroring reflects 40% of special damage taken back to the attacker and this makes Gialis a great counter to special attack Thames or teams in general. Resistant can also be used for a faster and less bulky Gialis though this Gialis will struggle against Tulkin and fast meta Thames. Gialis is also known for its high speed, it comes into second in the whole game. First one is Amphitheer with 110 and then the second spot is shared by Gialis, Ukama and Oshiara. With that being said, let's jump onto the moves and gear. The optimal moveset for Gialis is Double Gash, Hook Kick, Sharp Stabs and Crystal Bite. One of the biggest weakness that Gialis has as of right now is basically the weak turn 1 because Double Gash is less in damage. So Gialis is best used as a pivot into resisted attacks or special attacks so that your hold moves become available to use as soon as it enters the battlefield. Hook Kick always allows Gialis to be a major threat to Wolfie and give coverage against Earth and Crystal Dems. The Crystal move allows Gialis to give coverage against Mental and Electric Dems. Sharp Stabs is the only 3 prior move that Gialis has and it should be used very carefully to outspeed the rivals. Point to note is that it also has Ninja Jutsu, if you want you can take it instead of Double Gash. But be careful you will not have anything turn 1 then, then you have to absolutely play Gialis only to swap into something and then go from there onwards you should be good to go. So if you are a good swapper, if you know what you are doing, you can go with that Ninja Jutsu but it is a risky one. Almost nobody does it so be careful if you want to do it, you can do it. Let's jump into the gear. Chamomile is the optimal gear of choice for mirroring Gialis. Chamomile allows Gialis to avoid both positive and negative status conditions such as poison ticks from toxic Thames or trapped from Wolfie's handcuff and plague combo. Chamomile also allows Gialis to be a good counter to toxic Thames as well as it cannot get poisoned and takes half damage from toxic attacks. For resistant Gialis however, other items should be used and I would recommend Wardroom to be used to increase the physical damage of Gialis itself and for example also give extra damage to an ally Seismunch for a synergy Seismunch wreck. With that out of the way, let's jump into the TV spreads. The first TV spread I would recommend would be a mirroring Gialis. 500 points in HP is recommended to maximize the value of mirroring by giving Gialis as much HP as possible. 60 points in stamina is recommended to do the move rotation of double gash, hook kick, crystal bite and sharp stabs without over exertion. At least 5 point in speed is recommended so that Gialis can outspeed all the two priority moves in the game with sharp stabs. A faster Gialis can also use 164 speed but I'll go that in the later part of the video. So the leftover 431 points go into attack to give it as much damage as we can and also remain a threat for an enemy right the leftover three points go into defense the second spread i would recommend would be a resistant gialis and this is when you want to go full aggressive so as i said this one uses 164 speed so starting with hp it is the leftover points that are gone in hp 60 points in stamina as i said earlier for the rotation of double gash, hook kick, crystal bite and sharp stabs. For speed however, instead of 5 we go for 164 speed. So 164 speed allows the Gialis to outspeed a max speed Wolfie with the hook kick. This is taking into consideration that it has done dust vortex or sandstorm and not a plague. But a plague with Wolfie will always go first. So keep that in mind. And then 500 points in attack to do the maximum possible damage and the leftover points are going in HP. Coming to allies and threats for Gialis. A Gialis really has no synergy moves and doesn't have any specific allies that it appreciates other than Tem which may require or reduce the opponent's defense. So for that example Scrunch, Mushuk 
or size munch are good because of pjab as a partner for gialis also size munch appreciates having gialis on the side for getting a rex synergy same as volaren for the toxic plume synergy coming to gialis's threats physical attacks with fire earth or digital moves particularly moves such as sasmunch wreck koish or mastion's lava wave are a big threat for gialis so you definitely need to take care of that that would be my take on gialis if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification button so that you get notified every time a new video goes out links to the full playlist and my twitch if you want to hang out with me is in the description below if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section below or you can join the discord and ask anyone over there everyone is more than happy to help i will catch you guys in the next video stay safe and take care